with them. We have to have federal permits to have them, and they're on a very strict schedule and maintenance, and everything's recorded. I mean, we have to take little calipers, digital calipers, and measure the babies and weigh them. And um, we don't really measure the adults, but we do weigh them, and so we have to keep track. And if they're not feeling well, then we take them over to Willowbrook Wildlife Center to the vet, and so they can do x-rays or keep them for a couple days. Uh, they have a few obstacles ahead of them. One is only one out of every 10 survive until they're one year of age. And they don't start uh, mating until they're between 14 and 20 years old. And then they suffer from habitat loss. They like slow moving wetland waters. And so the Head Start program helps raise Blanding's turtles till they're about one. And then DuPage County comes and gets them and releases them back into the wild. Uh, this is Shirley, one of our Blanding's turtles. Uh, she's a little bit over two years old now. She's a little different color than most Blanding's turtles. She's xanthic, which means she has a genetic mutation that makes her yellow. All the other turtles have a just a number, usually a three-digit number, and M3 has M3 written on her, and M stands for Morris. So her mother was hit by a car, and uh, this is one of the eggs that survived and hatched. And so it's really great um, to have a, a wild turtle to be able to mix in with the Head Start program because it, it just adds more to the genetic makeup of like the different turtles that get bred. <laughs>